Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Game Club. I'm Graham. And I'm George. All right, we have got something special here, George. We have got... Oh, boy. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink Tearless. <laughs> Full disclaimer, neither of us have a PlayStation 5. Neither of us have played the game whatsoever. We have seen some footage. You've seen some footage of yeah. this, right? Yeah, I've seen some footage, yeah. Okay. And I write up on the characters a little bit, so they're not unknown entities to me. Right. Uh, but uh, continuing with the, what, as is tradition, when we're going to play a new game, Graham has, uh, I'm the begrudging one in this case, what? has drag, dragged me over to what? do some freaking tier list where we rank <laughs> anime characters. Let's, let's go. freaking go. <laughs> That's right. Let's freaking go. Yeah, this is going to be great. Oh, I'm very boy. excited. I've been playing Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising, and I absolutely have been loving it. So I, I'm kind of familiar with some of these characters. Um, I main Cagliostro, so I know her the best. But um, yeah, so obviously this game's quite different from that, and so we're just gonna look at the characters and judge them purely based on their appearance. Which I mean, which is the best thing to judge video game <laughs> characters on. <laughs> we judge books by their cover. In video games. <laughs> to be fair, they're mostly cover, especially for anime, like, boys and girls, That's right? right? So, That's right. I mean, That's there's right. gameplay, but we can't know that yet. But we're very excited yeah. to play Relink. We wanted to get some, at least a video out, maybe more, um, before the game comes out. So, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I know very little about Reli about Grand Blue, the whole thing, aside from what I've seen from Relink. And it looks fun. I yeah. I genuinely am excited to play it. George, so we both played it. Dragalia Lost for years. That's my only Psy Games game that I played. <laughs> Dude, it's it's so, like kind of coming back to our, our Dragalia Lost our roots. roots. Man, That's it's true. kinda it'll be kinda That's nice right. playing it, right? So I don't know. I'm pretty pumped. We we've come full full circle. We started with Dragalia Lost and just came exactly. around now to relink. Exactly. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Okay, so at the beginning of the game, you have to choose between your main character being Jita or Gran. So mm -hmm. one of these characters has to go in C and above, and the other character has to go in D tier because you won't be pay playing that other character. Yeah, so my, my gaming uh journey has taken a bit of a turn i used to always pick the dude characters i oh, never frick. picked girls and uh, lately as i've gotten older i'm like well i'm gonna be having to look at because i used to want to put myself in the place of the right. of the character so i wanted to be the guy okay. now yeah now i don't really do that as much and it's more just like okay who am i gonna have to look at for the entire playthrough and because of that i'm gonna place jita is her name right Jita, yep. Jita, yeah. I'm gonna place her at a strong, at a strong B tier. Actually, she might change once we get some other characters in here. But, uh, but yeah, I think I'll leave her at B. And then, All unfortunately, right. Gran, well, he's he's gonna go into D tier. Dang, you know, freaking he's, he's dude. Wrecked. Now the question is, does name similarity play any role in your tier list choices? Name similarity. Yes, Gran and Graham. They sound similar to me. Maybe not to you, but they do to me. <laughs> ah, I did not even think about that. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, the answer is absolutely freaking not. He's going to the D tier. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Gran. Womp womp. Dude, look at this girl. She is gorgeous. She's going straight up to A tier, man. I love Gina. A tier for you. She's wow, okay. way cute. Yup, she's doing everything for me. Short hair is great. Uh, she's got all the right uh, measurements, so uh, yeah, she's going straight into A tier. All the right measurements, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right, anyways, so the next character is Fairy. Yeah, well, anyone who knows me knows anything with cat ears, bunny ears, dragon ears, freaking tails of any kind is an instant D tier. So What? You know, George, it what? is what it is. What is I am what I am. I know what I'm about. Okay. Bro. I do not get the appeal at all. I find it 
kind of repulsive in a lot of characters. Oh my gosh, she went so far. <laughs> All right. And uh, mm -hmm. and yeah, so I have absolutely zero desire to play any character that's anything uh, anything dash girl. Anything aside from just plain old vanilla human. <laughs> Get those dashes away from me. All right, cool, bro. Thanks. So, anyways, <laughs> back to real opinions. <laughs> Fairy real really opinions. Cute. Jeez. I don't know what kind of like animal hybrid girl she's supposed to be. Um, Dude, that's a rabbit. Ain't no way that's not there's, a rabbit. There's no freaking way that's a rabbit, bro. Are you crazy? That's a rabbit. Uh, she's cute, though. I absolutely despise fighting her in Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. She's like a range character with summons. So she's like the ultimate zoner. Um, mm. I absolutely uh, despise playing her, but she is very cute. I don't know how she's going to play in Relink, but I'll put her in a solid B. So, you know, she's, she's nice. She's cute. I'm into it. Okay. Okay. I'm All gonna right. jump the gun here ahead of you and go to Narmaya, <laughs> which is the next character. Okay. Um, I mean, we already know. Well, I'll be interested to see what George says about this character. This character is, um, well, she's plus sized in certain areas, um, but she also got horns. Now they aren't ears because she has elf ears. She just happens to have horns. Now we're gonna have to do a play by play and see how George responds to this kind of thing here. <laughs> But uh, for me, Narmaya is nice, and she's got a katana, and she, she's pretty cool. But um, while she is pretty, she's going to go in B tier for beautiful character, but I don't want to play her that bad. So, Okay, wow. I was, uh, I was thinking, you know, those horns were really going to get you, uh, mm, but I guess nice. they didn't. Um, nice. You did, you mentioned she, she has some assets which she can make use of. <laughs> The horns are a downgrade. Without mm. the horns, she would go straight up to A. Okay. With the horns, I wish we had like a B minus tier, <laughs> but she's gonna go to the bottom of B tier. Okay. Again, I am a person who lives in the real world. <laughs> oh, Anything yeah, with wow. horns and tails. Well, we and, might as well throw ears. magical <laughs> characters too. I mean, because they're all about the, the real world. <laughs> no, okay. no, no, but she's. Uh, you know, she's got something, uh, you know, ahead of fairy. So that's the only reason why she's up. But she's, you know, the horns. I can't. I just can't. I don't get the appeal. I bring on the internet hate. I don't care. I just, I don't get it. Okay. I don't get it. So, All right. you know. All right. Fair yes. enough. Yeah. All right. Next yeah. up, we have Lancelot. Now, if I hadn't played Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising, this guy would probably go into C tier, probably. I do like okay. blue, and I do like armor. Um, so he'd probably go into C tier typically, but he has like these really cool dual blades, duo blades, and um, he's all about speed. And these are like things that I really mm -hmm. like. I'm not big into the whole Kirito edgy kind of freaking thing, but um, this guy's just a plain old quick man knight dude, and I'm pretty into it. So if I had to make an assumption based off how he might play, I'm going to put up an A tier. Wow. Yeah. An, an actual male going up <laughs> into A tier. You know, sometimes okay. we got we to gotta break the glass ceiling for the male characters. And he's an adult. What? <laughs> he's an adult. Going up and what are you trying to say, George? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I don't know much about Lancelot, but I have read the Once in Future King, and I loved it. And mm. even though Lancelot in that book has his moral quandaries, um, I like him as a character, and because his name is the same from the character in the book. <laughs> He's going up into A tier for me. <laughs> I love the logic. Solely based on that. <laughs> Amazing. That's perfect. I love to see it. Okay, so this next guy is, you can go ahead and take this. His name is Vane. I know literally yes. nothing about him other than he's got a big old ax, it looks like. Yes. And yep. um, yeah, he's not a Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising, so I don't freaking know. Yeah, well, he is going to be strong B-tier material. I wow. like giant axes as a weapon. Okay. Uh, how do I move this? There we go. I like giant axes as a weapon and uh, big kind of... He's not really a barbarian, but I usually attribute big axes to the barbarian archetype. Uh, Who knows? Okay. He might be. I don't know. I, I, I haven't played it, clearly. 
So uh, I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, I like that kind of archetypal character, and so he's going into straight strong B for me. Sure. All right, well, I got a different take because I don't like barbarians at all. I think they're dumb and gross and stinky <laughs> and stupid. Um, so he's going to be going okay. straight into frickin' No, just kidding. So I'm not going to put him in D tier. He is a bit of a pretty boy, and I'm not opposed to that. Um, I'm not really big on the whole, like archetype for kind of warrior-esque and like heavier weapons so i'm mm. i'm conflicted with that i think he'll have to go into c tier for that reason C-tier. like he's okay. interesting to me he's not as bland as grand grand is really bland he'd be going in d tier anyways Freck him. Poor grand um but um <laughs> yeah he's he's interesting so i'll put him in c i'd like to try him out eventually but there's a lot of other characters i'll probably play before him so okay okay yeah. All right, next All right. up, we have... I actually know this character because he's in the fighting. Yeah, Percival. Okay. Yeah, Percival. well, you know him. Take 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 this one off. I want, I want to hear All your right. opinions on Percival. So, Percival has one of the coolest weapons I've ever seen in fantasy. George, you mm. should go Google Percival weapon and tell me if Let you me can see. find his ripple. He's got like a ripple white and red kind of fire sword. It is so freaking sick oh uh, man it's it. okay do you see it yeah yep. it's so cool and i hate fighting him in grand blue fantasy versus but um <laughs> he's really cool i'm really into it i think man i it's so i now i'm wishing we had like a c plus or something because i don't think he's quite in the same tier i think he's gonna go low b because just low for the b? sword okay. alone I'm so into weapons. I'm like a big weapons guy. If someone's got a really cool weapon that kind of fits my fancy, I'll probably play you just for that weapon. So, yeah, he's going to go into B tier for me. Low B, but B. Okay. Okay. That I'm actually putting him kind of similar. I don't, you know, the weapon, it unfortunately doesn't do as much for me as it does for you, I think. Uh, but what I do like about his character is that he's trying to build a kingdom. Or hold on. Let me read the little quip that it says on yeah, the sure. character thing. Um, possessing the makings of a king, this young man strives to create a kingdom free of war with other like-minded individuals. And mm. I like that. He's, yeah. he's you know, honorable, trying to uh, do good by his people, you know, bring forth peace. And so I think that is a very worthy endeavor. And so I'm going to put him in, in kind of like a low, low B. Low B. I, right. I still like the, the barbarian guy a little bit more if he is a barbarian. But, you know, he's he's good. Did you read Vane's, like, blurb at all? Vane. I, I read all of them, but uh, That's it's the C, certainly possible that's I... That's the guy. Uh, so, a knight of valor, he pours his heart and soul into protecting his homeland, his friends, and his comrade-in-arms. That's the barbarian type guy. I like that kind of stuff a lot, actually. Right. I love kind of knighthood and, you know, chivalry, like the old school sure. knighthood chivalry. So, I might put him up. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to keep him where he is for now, but uh, I do sure. really like that a lot. That's so typical you and me. You've probably read – you said you read all of the character yeah. blurbs. Yeah, I went through and I've, read the things, yeah. I've read literally none of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a typical, like, George is yeah. really into the lore and the information and the story, and I'm just like, frick it. I don't care what's the gameplay. What do they look like? <laughs> cool sword. Let's That's do it. That's right. <laughs> 100%. That's so funny. <laughs> All right, so the next one is Siegfried. George, mm-hmm. take it Siegfried. away. Siegfried. Yes. So this guy, again, because I, I read his little thing, uh, he was hailed as a traitor, but yet oh, he frick. came back to save his people. Ooh. Now that, you know, he he took the high road. He could have just freaking said, no, frick you guys. You branded me a traitor. You exiled me. You know, you get your just desserts. But no, he came back. And he helped everyone. Oh, I really like that. Dang, you know, he was willing to take the high road, and so he, he goes. He goes high in my list. Dang. Okay. Nice. Yes. All right. <laughs> well, I've got um, you know, a bit different of an opinion. He's a big old hunky man character, and so he goes straight into D tier. I don't give a frick <laughs> what he's done and how cool he thinks okay. he is. But big old sword and big old man just goes straight into the D tier. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. So next Fair enough. is Yodarha. Yodarha. 
Yeah, um, his name is kind of strange to pronounce. I don't. Yeah. We're probably mispronouncing it. Yodarha, Yodarha. Yodarha? Who knows? I mean, that seems yeah. pretty accurate. Yeah. This man was yeah. once a world-renowned yeah. swordsman, but these days he spends much of his time fishing in seclusion. Wow, yes. fishing. He he fished up a big one, all right. He's straight up the bottom of D tier. That's what he fished uh, up. <laughs> Poor <laughs> Yodarha, because he is going straight to the <laughs> bottom <laughs> of D tier for me. I have zero interest in playing this guy at all. <laughs> oh, dang, dude. Oh, so, frick. poor guy. Well, poor guy. he got fricked, I suppose. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, next up is Zeta. Wow, we moved on from that guy so fast. He got a freaking drag. <laughs> um, poor Yodarha. I'm sure, I'm sure the Yodarha stands are going to be flaming in the comments, but it's I'm all right. I'm sure, 100%. <laughs> uh, I'm sure all one of them, really. Yeah, true, um, true. <laughs> for being real. <laughs> So, get, get all right, wrecked. Zeta <laughs> is up next. Zeta, um, so I have played a little bit of Zeta in Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. I didn't really love her play style. However, Zeta be smoking, dude. Zeta is super sm smoking, super fine, and she's got a really cool kind of polearm, lance kind of weapon. Um, her little blurb says, this fearless fighter belongs to the to the society whatever that means an organization which hunts primal beasts that's what that means apparently she has formed right. a contract with the seal weapon known as the spear of aves or arvis arvis mm. that's mm. i mean that's really cool she's super fine honestly she's going up into s tier wow yeah. A full-grown woman <laughs> oh my in gosh. S tier. Oh my god! If gosh. anyone watches this video and doesn't know our freaking dynamic, is going to be the, so the lore. confused. <laughs> the deep cuts. <laughs> so yeah, thanks, well, for that, listen, George. We have we have some other. There, I think they're mostly all on streams, but we have some other tier list stuff in the channel so you uh -huh. should try and find it if you can we might link it in the description we'll see and maybe oh you can have some some context that'll give some to, context yeah the, the the wildly different tastes that grab yes, and i have <laughs> absolutely all right um, zeta you're up well George. she's got two very nice assets i'm talking about her pigtails of course yes which immediately put Ooh. her up straight to s rank <laughs> for me uh, right. Also, I do like her spear. It's like a little cross thing at the end. Yeah. It's really cool, sick-looking weapon. Yeah. Weapons don't always do do it for me, but it's like kind of the combination of the stuff. Sure. Um, yeah. Zeta straight to the top, man. S -tier. Nice. Nice. Straight nice. to the top. All right. Well, the next one is Vasaraga. Vasaraga. I have fought this guy in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus mm. all of two times. <laughs> Like, okay. nobody plays this okay. guy at all. But he's pretty scary. He's got a lot of super <laughs> yeah. armor and stuff like that. So, you know. Yeah, Go what do you off, think George? of his weapon? I, I know that... Uh, oh, okay, <sighs> yes. Let, let me see here. Because I think for him... Yeah. I, again, weapon isn't the make-all, be-all for me. But sure. I do really like his sight. I think it's really sick. Um, and I like his overall design. He reminds me a little bit of... Um, there's some enemies in uh, Wind or Wind Waker, uh, Link to the Past, that mm. he reminds me of. Oh, the uh, it's really the, What are they called? Chestnuts. I don't. I forget what they're called. Something like that. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, it's it's stuff in, in Link to the Past. He reminds me of that, um, and uh, uh, I think for me, he's gonna go straight into uh, solid top of B tier. Okay, top of yeah. B tier. Not bad. Top of B tier. Okay, all right, fair enough. Um, well, <clears throat> if you've been following my tier list whatsoever in any capacity, you know immediately that this guy's gonna go, well, okay, he's not as bad as Yard Hall, so he'll go right there. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, well, what do you think of his scythe? You don't like his scythe? So I'm not into scythes at all. I don't ah. know what it is about scythes, but I've, I don't think I've ever seen a scythe that I liked. So, okay. I don't know. They really okay. just miss me. I'm really not, like, I used to kind of be into the cool, edgy type of characters. And sides, I feel, kind of fill that kind of edgy gap kind of really? brand, okay. whatever. <laughs> and I'm just not really into it. I just don't think they look very cool. Um, yeah, hmm. so, you know. 
Yeah, see, I'm I'm very much a weapon per weapon kind of guy. Mm. It's not necessarily like I like access or I like sides or I like swords. It's yeah. does this per specific thing look cool? And I think his scythe looks pretty cool. I, I think I generally agree with that. Although swords is like a big thing for me. I really do like swords in general. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be like a weapon by weapon guy as well. But sides, yeah, okay. sides never really do it for me. Okay, interesting. All right, well... I don't even know how to say her name. I was uh, about to say, Cagliostro? I was like, George, you're going to name... Ca yeah, I actually... You did, yeah, Cagliostro. There okay. you go. I was yeah, going to say, well, you should say this one because I'd love to see how you say her name, but you nailed it. <laughs> yeah, well, she's a child, so, you know, no desire whoa. whatsoever. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's not... First of all, she's not a child, okay? Go ahead and she read that blur like for us, George. <laughs> all right. A brilliant mage... Who founded alchemy in the Sky Realm? She has learned how to achieve virtual immortality by regularly replacing her body with new vessels that suit her tastes. Actually, so, George, she's thousands she, of years old. <laughs> oh boy! Here's <laughs> here's the anime. No, she's not a child. She is a two thousand year old she's dragon. <laughs> actually, a two thousand year old dragon, George. Oh boy! Well, listen, listen. Whatever, whatever. Uh, What's the, the term? Exceptions yep. and caveats people uh -huh. want to put into these sure. type of characters. <laughs> she looks like a child. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, so. weird normie opinions aside, um, <laughs> Cagliostro is my main in Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising, and she will be my main in this game as well. Wow. 100% <laughs> dude. She is so freaking okay. cute. Okay. I love everything about her. I love that she's really a psychopath, so she plays up the cute, so she, like, really will play it up in-game. She'll be, like, all, like, cute and making poses, oh boy. but then she'll, like, turn oh around, no. and she'll put on, like, this troll face and be like, I freaking killed you, or whatever the frick. Oh, it's amazing. I love her character so much. Uh, yeah, <laughs> easy A or S tier, not even close. Yeah, see, the cutesy kind of stuff, uh, it's too much mm. cringe for me, man. Right into I my veins, baby. Right into my veins. I can't veins. do it. I have, like... The weirdest stuff with cringe. I have, like, the highest tolerance for, like, the Eric Andre realm of cringe. <laughs> like, I absolutely will eat that up. I love it. And then the lowest tolerance for, like, the cutesy anime type of cringe. It's just, I can't. I can't do it at all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Um, all right. Yes. Well, um, the next character, I let's see what her name is. I always have to see because I don't fully remember. Um, yeah. Catalina. Catalina. Catalina, that's right. Yeah, um, she is fantastic, and she is going to go in the bottom of S tier. Wow, George with the freaking adult woman fetish. Who would have thought? <laughs> it's not a fetish, dude. It's just the normal <laughs> way that people think, okay? <laughs> oh, my sure, gosh. Sure, George. It will keep never telling die. yourself that, man. It sounds like copium to me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, Catalina, though, she's... You know, the funny thing about Catalina is... I am is... so interested to hear this. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> what, what's the funny thing about Catalina? <laughs> She's a woman, so she goes into d, &D. Oh, my gosh, dude, no! <laughs> <laughs> this can't be real. <laughs> below below freaking what's-his-face, the fencer right. dude. Oh, uh, my Oh, yeah, gosh. sorry. Whoops. <laughs> I don't want to make that mistake. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, no, but actually... Um, Here's the funny thing. Um, usually, you see how her armor is, like, contoured to her body, like, exactly? Like, basically, her armor's, like, painted on. 99% of the time, I don't give a flying frick if they sexualize characters in the weirdest freaking ways. No problem. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. It is very strange to me, though, that her armor is like perfectly mapped to every curve of her body that it looks like a bodysuit and doesn't even resemble <laughs> armor anymore. So for uh -huh. that reason, she's going to go into C tier. If she had like a normal knight's outfit, even a sexy normal knight's outfit, fine. But her outfit, her outfit just kind of freaks me out. And uh, when she breathes in game, the armor like flexes to her model because it's like tied basically to mm. right exact along with her skin. It's that just is weird. Kinda weird. Yeah, that I'm not really weird. into it. I do like she's got like a thin sword and she's kind of like quick. I'm not really into the whole fencing thin sword thing, but she's like kind of cool. But I may try her eventually, but I'm not anytime soon. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I actually didn't know that about her, her armor. That is kind of weird. It does yeah. nothing to change her rating for me, but I will admit that it is kind of weird. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. All right. So yes. next up, we've got Rackham. Rackham. He's Rackham he's, can don't worry. Rackham I'll knock this straight up. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, oh sorry. I was gonna say. <laughs> Dang, I was like, he's racking up the count for D tier because that's where yes. he's going. <laughs> yeah. Same with me. He is his uh, freaking thing just says help. Helmsman of the airship Grand Cipher. He can be as untamed as the open skies. Okay. Uh, whatever. I guess. <laughs> yeah, he does nothing for me. Yeah, pretty much. Sorry, sorry Rackham. He um, um, he reminds me a lot of the character from Final Fantasy XII, Balthier. Um, Balthier was a freaking Chad, and I love that guy. Rackham might be a Chad, but he looks kind of like a douche. And so mm. he's just going to go into D tier because, uh, you know, okay. D tier for douchebag, I guess. I don't know. He's just very, he looks, to be on a more serious note, he's very plain. Um, he's even more plain than freaking Gran. So, yeah, I'm just not really into it. So Okay. Okay. Yeah. George, why don't you take, um, why don't you take this next one? Uh, okay. How old do you think this, this person is? Age is just a number, and jail is just a place, George. <laughs> oh, my god! <gosh>. Listen, <laughs> video game characters don't have real ages, George, so it doesn't mm. matter, okay? Uh, Listen, uh, okay, hold on. No, actually, you know what? That's I'll add a, a third. I'm going to okay. add a third meme layer to this since I've had two of them already. Oh, no. What's Petite coming? Petite women oh, no. exist, George. Are you doing petite women erasure? Listen, the... Key word there is not petite, but rather women. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? So You're saying is... <laughs> how can you decide that she's not a woman? Uh, because she looks like a child. She she <laughs> she looks like a child, and so she belongs straight in freaking. I mean, th these two are kind of interchangeable, so it doesn't matter which order I put them in. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, D for child. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> anyways, that's cool. That's super cool, George. Um, so, anyways, as you would expect, this this girl's going straight up right oh in S tier. Oh my gosh! Uh, <laughs> Why? Why? So let me give my justification. Why am I not surprised? I, uh -huh, yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear I, it. <laughs> First she's of all, actually she's actually not a child. She's, she's a, a five hundred year old mage. <laughs> five hundred years old? No, actually, um, I I'm not. I'm not even gonna pull up what her actual age is in game. <laughs> but um <laughs> so she is cute You're as just frick. Your whole deeper, man. <laughs> of course, of course, absolutely. Entertainment all the way. Um she's cute as frick. Oh. She was um when the game was announced and they showed off the initial base playable character roster, um at that time it was like only six or whatever characters. She was number one on my list for the character I was gonna main. One half because she's cute as frick. And the other half is because she's like a mage character, and I really like mage characters. She also has healing, okay. so she's got like support stuff. So, and I'm all about the freaking healer. So I was like, oh, 100%, I'll be playing this character. Um, the only reason I'm not going to main her, but I'll, I'll secondary pocket her to uh, Cagliostro. But um, it's just Cag is here, and Cag is the queen. And so we're going to main <laughs> Cag. But uh, I'll play between both, depending on what we need. If we need some extra heals, I'll be there with EO. If, uh, if we don't, then I'll be playing Keg most of the time. Keg is really cool because she's also a caster. She's like alchemy gold themed, which is really cool. And she also uh, has like a bunch of party buffs. So like buffing the team and mm. stuff like that. So if we don't need heals, you know, might as well just go damage buffs, right? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, or he's, she's cool. Like that does sound cool. Yeah. Um, when I actually see the players and like what they can actually do and stuff like this tier list will likely change, but based on looks, man, not nah, straight, straight to D tier. Straight <laughs> based to on D -tier. looks, straight to S tier. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have okay. no idea who this other guy is. Uh, Yugen. Yugen. This, yes. Yugen. All right. Yeah. He, uh, I'm interested. I'm I, genuinely uh, interested to hear what you have to say about this guy. Yeah, like, I like uh, the eye patch. I wish they had done something more interesting with his weapon. It's really just like a giant musket. Again, 
weapons aren't the end all be all but it's just like a musket that's been oversized and it's just like it's big now that's that's his thing um right. i wish it would have been a little bit something more interesting so i am putting him in c tier oh, first c tier uh, i like the eye patch yeah it's first c tier i like the eye patch but that's about the only thing he's got going for me um so yeah c tier for me all right fair enough i think it's a fair assessment you gave it a fair shake. I will not do the same. He's going straight into D tier. Uh, <laughs> I don't like uh, big old bearded men unless they're exceptionally cool, and this guy's pretty mid, okay. so uh, straight into D tier. <laughs> All right. Very good. All Very right. Good. I'm. We know what George is going to say on this next one, so I'm going to go ahead Me? and just get ahead of this. Wait, and this don't is we know Ro what you're going to say on this one <laughs> as well? <laughs> <laughs> this is Rosetta. Uh -huh. um, I don't know anything about Rosetta, but she's very pretty, and she's clearly a full woman. So as you would expect, yes, she's going to go into B tier. She's very pretty. <laughs> I like her. I like her design. Wow, she goes B, -tier. Into B tier. Wow. Yeah. That is yeah. two whole tiers higher than I thought you were going to rate her. So Yeah, so I, I mean, am she looks, pleasantly surprised. She looks kind of like a dancer, and I'm into like the dancer class type. Um, I think that's pretty cool. She might be like, you know what? let's let's go on the on a limb and say she's like a dancer type and she's like more okay. about like support and stuff i'm gonna put her into okay. low a tier then wow yeah wow yeah. okay yeah. all right two say? two women going up two well i mean i've got making their way up mean? we got freaking zeta here we got <laughs> yes uh, that's the only one i guess she's, okay three three all right Gita. very good and and cagliostro is like two thousand years old so that counts Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Sure. All right. Well, of course. I mean, you know, the everyone knows where she's going now. The only question is where in this ranking. <laughs> and now, I'm a sucker for sultry eyes. She's got them sultry oh, eyes. Oh, I was not expecting that. The very, very tippy, tippy top. Okay. Of S -tier. Dang, Nothing else I, to say about that. <laughs> dang. I thought for sure Zeta would hold position number one with that outfit. No, man. No. It's uh, it's the sultry eyes that get me, dude. Okay. Every Every single video game that has stuff like that. You know this already. <laughs> uh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I know uh, it. But yes. Yeah. That's, you know, that's where it is for me. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Next up, we got Charlotta. Charlotta. Charlotta, go ahead, George. You go ahead and give me your thoughts, and then I'll give uh, mine, and then uh, we'll see if you were wrong. Yeah, uh, she's actually, because it's, uh, I like her um, lore behind her. She's, you know, sworn a holy oath. Uh, she still looks like a child. She's not. She's whatever race this guy is, a halfling. I don't know what the races are in uh, right. uh, Grand Blue Fantasy. Uh, but she's not going to be dumped in D tier along with the other children looking people. She is going <laughs> to be higher than that, another C tier. Okay. All right. Yes. You know what? You knew about the uh, the short race lore, and so you didn't just straight up call her a child. So, you know what? I'll give you points for that, George. I was ready to okay. trip you up on that, but you freaking got it. All right. Fair enough. All right. All right. <laughs> um, I'm not super into Charlotta. She's okay um i the thing i really like about her is i do like her aesthetic it's like blue she's got like a blue and white and she got this like long crown so i like the kind of the colors and the theme and aesthetic she's going on the biggest thing for me is her sword is reminiscent of the moonlight great sword from the soul series or really from like mm. every from soft game ever so i'm really into That's that cool. like yeah that specific sword is really cool it's a cool magical weapon. I like weapons that have like a strong magical look to them. Um, I don't really think she's that cute. And I don't think she, yeah, like other than that. So it's kind of a, a, a push and pull. I'm going to put her, uh, I really like the sword. I'm going to put her at top of B tier. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I also was not expecting that. All right. Very okay. good. Very good. Yeah. Um, I'll okay. get this one out of the way. This is... Gan Dagnaz of these nuts. Um, and he's going to go straight into, let's see, he's cooler than him. He's cooler than him. Uh, right there. Okay. Yeah. Gan Dagoza. He does not do much for me at all. He, he like, I think he would be kind of like a Ganon like kind of dude. Um, uh, but he's just got the like horn. Like, I wish he didn't have the horns. 
um, mm. and that his hair was like a different color, and then he'd be much cooler to me. But now he just looks like, I don't know, a goat dude. <laughs> That's just like buff, I guess. Or we a know bold dude. I don't know. Freaking goat variant human beings. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so, racism. Henny Dash, Henny Dash is here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Raises them all the Who way. Goes right to him. <laughs> He's cooler than this guy. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. All all these freaking half human hybrids, man. No. Get those abominations away from me. <laughs> Jeez. George is going to get canceled on Twitter for this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. It's all right, dude. That's if right. Twitter cancels us, we know we're doing something right. <laughs> That's true. That's fair enough. Well, I mean, it looks like it worked out pretty well for everyone except for Yoda Hall, which is like, you know, frick that guy in particular, Poor I guess. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but, man. um,. Yeah, I think this was pretty fun, actually. <laughs> this was super fun to do. I really want to hear what you guys think. Yes. Like, leave, leave a comment down below with your order. And also, not just like what you would pick, but on whose tier list you would... If you had to pick either one of our tier okay, lists, yeah. I actually want to hear so, how, how the audience is divided between the the yes. uh, the Graham and George Graham's tier, list. tier list or George's tier list whose <laughs> tier list win and then give us your top three we you know what we actually had yeah. three we had three and three here so give us your top True. three characters that you want to play along with who you thought won the tier list battle uh, the answer is obvious but you know it is yes, what it it's is. very obvious it's it's quite obvious uh -huh. yeah. sure 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 <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We're going to be playing Relink when it comes out on stream. Both of us will be playing with our duo uh, gameplay setup, just very similar to this. But uh, with that, we will see all of you in the next one. Take care.